Ladies and gentlemen, Esports Report continues with me, Edson, as we do Pro League. And I'm joined by the wonderful Gizmo. Yeah. We're about to, to go through all the Pro League action for you guys watching at home. But quickly, recap, of course, Gizmo, Season 1 cast-off contestant. Did very, yeah. very well, went very far. We're in Season 2 right now. Uh, you were just watching the show. What did you uh, What did you think from the trivia questions, first of all? You know, I... I always was kind of in the same spot as a lot of those guys, so I can feel for him dreading your question. And um, I don't know, you you don't remember it, obviously, but I'll never forget it because it was originally for Dirk, and the question was, Aches famously put his silver medal down on his Xbox at what tournament? And Dirk had the original question. I was thinking in my head, I was like, silver medal? When did Complexity slash EG, when did they get second place? And when did that tournament give out medals besides X Games? And it was obviously you being uh, a sneaky red panda per usual. Um, <laughs> but tonight, so I, I fell for some of those guys. And, um, you know, some people left a little bit to be desired. But um, I, I think that from watching their casting as well, I think the majority of them are going to succeed. I thought the teams, some interesting picks there. Yeah. Um, that, got a li that got a little crazy pretty quickly. But... Uh, there's going to be some really good competition. There's a bunch of real talented guys, and uh, this show keeps just producing more and more uh, quality talent. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty aggravated because I had my first pick stolen from me. Um, should have won, just saying. Um, but <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we actually have an awesome graphic for you guys watching at home. If you missed it, you can see exactly who drafted who. At the top, you see our derpy faces with the contestants we drafted. Uh, obviously, Mr. X, there with Jay and Fox. I'm over there in the middle with my dirt face paradox and Phelan and Anna Landon and Brian Saint going over to Mr. Puckett on the far right hand side. And Gizmo, from, from those contestants, who really stands out to you the most? You know, it, it's uh, as far as who could win it. I, you know, who I I'm a big, big Air Landon fan. Really? I, uh, I thought, you know what? Today I was shocked of all people. I thought he was going to crush this trivia because so many things are those rosters and yep. if you don't follow him on twitter roster mania is on top of it i mean right on top of it when it breaks so that left a little bit to be desired for me but i think his voice i think his talent level is huge but um jay he's super super good um he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with and then um my dark horse is saint i think if pocket can do a little bit of molding he's gonna be he's gonna be a problem yeah, I think he's going to be very, very good. Um, yeah. I was actually considering picking him as well, which kind of blew things out, out, out of the poor. Out of, uh, it was just annoying. I'm going to be honest. I felt like I had my, my pick <laughs> stolen from me. Should have had that number one pick, and then Mr. Matthew Morello stole and it. And you went me. with Valen first round, correct? Yes, I did. Uh, the okay, he, that, him and Fox did awesome for their yep. uh, entry cast, so... <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I could pick the strongest team, to be honest. I thought there was going to be one person that had a really, really strong team, and I think they're all pretty even, to be honest. I was so tempted to go for Fox. Very yeah. tempted. Very tempted. But then I was thinking, I reckon with enough time I can teach Paradox a thing or two. I'm a prey. I'm a prey I can, because it was a high-risk, high-reward situation. You know what? As it. far as people from Season 1 to Season 2... I think Paradox, for me, made the biggest jump. Do you agree? Yes, without a doubt. Like, yeah. his, his knowledge in trivia, his performance live casting was insane. And I'm going to... I have a thing or two planned for my contestants. Okay. I'm going to catch Puckett and Mr. X sleeping when they're not expecting it. Let's just put it that way. Um, I'm excited to okay. win with Valen at the weekend as well at UMG. That should be pretty fun. But tonight, obviously, all about the Pro League. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yes. It's it's getting insane. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, in terms of the standings, everybody can win. <laughs> yeah. Or at least everyone can qualify, which is the, the ridiculous thing. When you look at the bottom side of the bracket, like two wins separates a team from sixth place to last place. It's, it's very chaotic, very crazy. And a lot of teams, as you know, were traveling over to ESWC and Gfinity at the weekend. And yes. some of those games had to be rescheduled. Guess what? There's five games now at 7 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. Also games at 10 p.m. as well, because, you know, why not, really? I guess is the, the best way of explaining it. 
Lots of games. Lots and lots of games. Uh, start off with some predictions from you, Gizmo. 7 p.m., okay. we have Team Envious going up against TCM. Now, this is a brand new TCM squad because Gunji stayed over in the UK, retiring, sad time, playing for the yep. first time with Mad Cat. How do you think that TCM squad's gonna do? I don't, you know what? I, I'm a big fan of Mad Cat and those dualies, so <sighs> I think it's always gonna be a little bit of a transition when you bring a new player in, but okay. um, I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna go with them at seven. You get it. What score? Give me a score. Without seeing the maps, um, I'm gonna say 3 1. 3 1 TCM. Yeah. All right, well, map number one is currently a hard point retreat. It's on your screens at home. And TCM has a whopping 92 to 23 point lead. Down low, one okay. shot move. That is not what I expected, because this is an envious team who, you know, now playing with their, their full roster. And once again, you'd expect to do pretty well right like that i feel like that's a that's a fair assumption is it not you know uh, this is something that i wanted to kind of pick your brain about and i think it's going to be interesting is when you're coming back on a short week now before we get to umg cali a few of the notable teams mm -hmm. didn't have big players so how how do these teams you kind of build a little bit of a repertoire right over the mm -hmm. past two weeks like with OG and Enable, you start kind of feeling these players out and then all of a sudden Enable gets pulled back, you insert Karma, but the same thing with Envy. You're gonna pull Burke away now, you bring Saints back in, maybe just a little bit of um, kind of feeling each other back out and playing with a new squad again. I, okay. That's the only thing I can think of. Yep, now that makes a, uh, a lot of sense. It really does. And looking at this game, Envy seemed very disheartened. It was a 120 point lead for TCM. TP was just kind of didn't play for a couple of seconds. Didn't seem to be going, I guess, hard. The best way of explaining it. He just kind of chilling, doing his own thing. But uh, I'm still impressed with TCM's lead. I was very worried. Very, very worried about no more Gunchy. For me, that was a big flag okay. on the play. Gunchy, a phenomenal player. Been playing so well in AW. He's won a title in every Call of Duty except Advanced Warfare. This is the only game he's never won a championship in. That kind of shows you the prestige of Gunchy as an individual. Playing tonight, first time. Mad Cat. He's played another TCM brand before. He's a talented individual, one of the best in Europe. But I, I don't know. I feel like making a roster change this close to the end of the season when you're on the brink of playoffs, it's just, it's crazy. I know, I know it had to happen because the player retired, but I feel like this is not the time you want to make that change because now. And I know this is about Pro League, but what do you reckon is going to happen over in Europe? You got, you have Swanee. What does he do? Where does he go? A great question. I'm, I want to say TK for season three. Oh. Yep. It would make sense. Uh, if he's going to join an American team, which I think he should, he can right. play at that level, as we've seen when he's spent time over in North America. It needs to be a team with a team house. That's number one. Um, maybe ON, if, if ON crumble again. Like, how many times are you going to allow Tignation to finish bottom of the Pro League? That's something you need to really ask yourself. Because it's, it's been happening a lot, right? Like, season one, didn't play very well. Season two, now they've started to look a little bit better. Obviously, beat Denial at Gfinity. But do you think they can finish in the top eight, Gizmo? Who is that, Optic Nation? Yeah. I just I just don't know. I They have flashes where they look really good, like Gfinity. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes uh, they're just not as impressive. I don't I don't know. That, that's a tough one. I, it's, it's hard, I don't, right? Because you, you I don't want to think say yes, so, but at the same my, time, my gut, say no. My gut says no. Okay. My gut says no. Yeah. Gut says no. Uh, well, I, I will go with the gizmo gut on this one <laughs> because I'm, I'm kind of similar with you. I, I really want to say yes. I do. Love those guys. But I just can't see it. I don't know why. Online, they, they struggle. You always see, you know, Killer kind of complaining about online play, how he doesn't like it and whatnot. I mean, I think it's going to be a very, very big struggle. Do you think TCM make it to X Games? See, this is what's interesting, I think, about the teams that are right there on the bubble, is I'm a huge, huge fan of this new prof squad. Okay. I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I did predict them top three at Gfinity. And a bit of, bit of I think... A little bit, little bit tooting your own horn? A little bit? No? No? 
they're I'm gonna make I think they're gonna make a run so I think these teams that are right there on the bubble it's gonna get even tighter there all of a sudden for him so for TCM um I think TCM will I don't know I just have faith I just have faith in them and I think I don't think the mad cat coming over is gonna be a problem I think he's gonna step right in and play well all right well this game number one is essentially over welcome to the 100 point club team envious 225 to 68 point lead. You're gonna pull away from this game to a game I actually got an invite into, but I couldn't invite you quick enough, so that's no worries. my bad. And you were talking about Prof and how high on Team Prophecy you are. Prophecy actually playing against Denial. Map number two, Search and Destroy Drift. And Denial is a 1-0 up in the series, Gizmo. You know, something that I liked about, I don't know if you saw the interview with Clayster, Mm -hmm. But the fact that there there was I, I, some kind of silly rumblings, in, in my opinion, but people kind of saying after a poor p placing there, are you guys thinking about changes? Are you looking anywhere? And he said, no, we're staying together. And I think that's so huge and something that I think um, you see a lot more in the Counter-Strike scene, but I think would do numbers for teams in the Call of Duty scene is when you build that repertoire and you kind of build that understanding with your players. And I, that team has too much talent to break up right now, but um, they're, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Yeah. I'm not too sure. Oh. I don't know why. I think if they have a poor X Games, I think anything could happen. As, as weird as that is to say, and like, I, I don't want it to be true because I love that Denar squad. I, I don't know. I think a poor X Games could be maybe the start of some changes. Uh, right now, the Denar up 3 1. And you said you expect to see Prof go on a bit of a win streak and potentially mm -hmm. finish outside of that, that bottom four, finish in the top eight qualified for X Games. It's really crucial games like this against now, which they need to win, need to be closing them out. And who would you say is that player online to really look out for for Prophecy? Aqua. He's, yeah. he's a freak, man. He is incredible. And you want to talk about making a name for yourself and a title. Um, you know, it's always interesting to see, what, what, going towards Black Ops 3, I'm looking into the future now, um, and saying, like, when teams start shuffling around and changes are made, mm -hmm. he's going to be, I think, probably the top player on a lot of the list because I don't see OG splitting up. If there's any other player right now, OG not included, Aqua might be, like, one of my top two players that I, I want on my team if I'm starting uh, Gizmo organization. <laughs> Give me Aqua. Give me Aqua. He, he okay. is the man. What, what makes you what makes you say that? Is there anything in particular about his play style, or is it just you really think he's just got that natural raw talent? I think he's one of those special players that's kind of the raw talent on the level of, um, and I'm not comparing people, don't freak out, but like on a scumpy level where you have that raw talent, those mm -hmm. raw reflexes, and when you have a player like that that can just go off at any moment, your team is your team is always there, your team is always dangerous, and uh, that's that's just what I love about him. Yeah, so certainly kind of probably that play style. Well, I kind of agree. I think Aqua, in terms of an individual, is extremely, extremely talented. Um, and I think he's going to be on the top of a lot of people's lists when it comes down to, to Roster Mania. It's a fantastic, fantastic play. You see him do it at LAN. You see him do it online all the time. It really provides you with the best of, of everything that you need. You know, if you're trying to build a team that's going to be in the Pro League, it really does give you everything, essentially, that you want. Um, just going to update everyone on some of the scores in the Pro League and some of the other matches because the main thoughts really about Envy versus TCM and Prof versus Denial. Uh, Elevate playing against Rise. Rise obviously on the rise. <laughs> hey, see what it did there, Gizmo, in the Pro League. Elevate 1 0 up in that matchup. How does that one end? I like the Rise squad. And poor Wheats, man. Earlier, nobody remembering Wheats. Right. Um, but Wheats. Rise Elevate, that's, that's a good one. Um, I'm a, I'm a Rise fan just because um, I thought uh, Theory always performed so well on TK. Mm -hmm. um, and what, whatever happened, if he wanted out or if the team kind of pushed him out, whatever happened there, I'm glad that he's find a, find a landing spot. Uh, Neslo, another one. I just I just think they're, along with Chino, they're, they're a talented squad. They're down 0-1, and I, I like Rise on hard points usually. Um, so I think I might have to go with Elevate at this point just because I know the score now. But if you would have asked me pre-match, I think I, I think I say probably Rise. But really? at this point, I'll go Elevate. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. At Denial, playing Prof, as we mentioned. Denial's the one I opened that one. Uh, TK going up against Justice. 
really should be an easy 3-0 for Team Calibre. I'd be very surprised if it was anything other. Uh, they're also 1-0 up in that series as well. Optic Nation play phase though, Gizmo. How does that one go down in your mind? You know, we were just talking about him. I, you'd have to think phase, right? This phase team is stacked, and I can't wait to see them on land with this power that they have now. Mm -hmm. You get you get enable back, and um, I would have to assume they're going to take out Optic Nation tonight. Um, Internet's always kind of um, an interesting little curveball, but um, I got you got to go phase. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Having enable back now, I think should be everything yeah. that they need. That was a huge six-one demolition there in s and Drift. Honestly, that was ridiculous. Really expect to see more from Prof after a great performance uh, at Gfinity. Looking at some of the other games going on, there's two